Hey, I, we got our favorite tax advisor mm-hmm. on the phone with us today, everybody, from h and Block. Uh, she's going to answer some more questions about taxes uh, that have come from you, our listeners, those of you that send in questions for her, We got them. And she's got a lot of great information. And if your question is not answered today, you can always get expert advice by calling 1-800-HR-BLOCK. 1-800-HR-BLOCK. Or you can go online to www hrblock.com. Please welcome to the show the fabulous Miss Wilma Hayes. Yes. <laughs> Miss Wilma. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. <laughs> Come on, Hey, Miss Hayes, how you doing today? I'm doing fine, Steve. How are you? Well, I'm doing pretty good. Well, we got some interesting questions because a lot uh-huh. of people listen, and this is tax time, and we try to help our listeners and maybe right. can save them some money. So if you're ready to go, here we go. Let's go. This question is from Reverend Eddie from Charleston, Mississippi. Oh. I've never heard of Charleston, Mm-mm. Mississippi. Neither have I. Mm-hmm. Monica, where is that at? I've heard of it. Have oh, you? have you been Well, you're the tax lady. You take money from everybody. <laughs> we don't know where Charleston, Mississippi is. Mm-hmm. Well, one of my favorite actors is from Charleston. <gasps> Who, Morgan don't Freeman? S- Morgan Freeman. Ah, you like him too, Miss mm-hmm. Hayes. <laughs> How about it ain't but one actor from Mississippi? How about that? <laughs> Know that me, out there. That's me. Because for me to know that, <laughs> you got to be the only one. Okay. <gasps> Morgan Freeman. Or oh, Eddie Barnwell from there. He did that big play down at the Riverside Ballroom. Uh-huh. Massa, they coming. You didn't see that? <laughs> Steve. <laughs> right. I'm oh, sorry. Okay, here we go. Um, here's a question from Reverend Eddie from <laughs> Crazy. Come on. Reverend Eddie from Charleston, Mississippi. He said, I'm a, ma- a minister of a Baptist church, which is a tax-exempt organization. Should my income and in housing that is given to me by the church be tax-exempt? No, Rev, it's not. Hello. Mm-hmm. No, no, not, not your income. The church is, but not you. Hello. Right. A minister is considered an independent contractor. All right, and mm-hmm. even the housing that's given to him, uh, whether he's given a housing yeah. allowance or, or rent right. by the church, has to be added back to mm-hmm. that income. So okay. he has to file his taxes as though he's an independent contractor on a Schedule C. Yeah. Now, he can write off expenses, such as his robes, the cleaning of the robes. Uh, church do that too, though. The church does what? He got an armor bearer that come in and clean the robes for him. Church do all that. <laughs> if the church he don't does do it for him, <laughs> yes, he, you pastor know. Pastor just thought he wasn't going to pay no taxes with this letter about, really. That's what it looked like. Yeah. How he think he don't owe no taxes to the United States government? I don't know, Rev, because if he looks in the Bible, Jesus paid his taxes. Yeah. Mm. Give Caesar Uh-oh. his due. Uh-huh. Watch out now. Give who his due, Shirley? <laughs> Caesar. That's what it That's says in, in the, the Bible. Bible. Yeah, give mm. Caesar his due. But if you remember, a, a, a Roman soldier approached Caesar. one of Jesus' disciples. And asked him, he says, do, do you and your master not pay taxes? That disciple went to Jesus, and Jesus uh, told him to go catch a fish. There was a co- uh, coin in the mouth mm-hmm. and go pay the tax. Well, y'all doing all them scriptures. What about the one that's what's mine is mine and yours is yours? <laughs> Ain't that in there? Because no, I'm that's sound, not that. You know, if you're going to misquote scriptures and stuff, talk about this money in this fish mouth and all you, this you think, they've been mis- you think the scriptures have been misquoted? <laughs> I have done it several thousand times. Okay. What's mine is mine and yours is yours. And give Caesar his due. I don't know Caesar. <laughs> I know well, Uncle Caesar Sam, knows though. Caesar Well, Caesar changed his name to Uncle Sam. That's right. All right, here we go. Question number two. Hey, okay. This is a good one. This is from Jay Bradley in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. He says, one of my best friends borrowed $10,000 from me to help pay her daughter's tuition and now can't afford to pay me back. Can I claim her daughter as a dependent on my taxes until I get my money back? Lord, no. Mm-mm. Can't do that. This sounds like a bad debt situation. Um what uh, Jay Bradley can do is uh, file it as a bad debt on her Schedule D and take off $3,000 a year. But what uh, would happen is that if the person, whoever borrowed the money, ever began to pay Jay Bradley back, Jay Bradley would have to make that correction on future tax returns as income. 
Okay, well, let me ask you this then. Mm-hmm. You can write off a bad debt? Yes. It has to be, it has to be a while. Uh, I would suggest that you make every effort to collect it and collect documentation that you made the effort to collect it. Let me ask you a question. Is there ever a case where if a person uh, uses his car to go to work, just his regular job, he doesn't own a business, it's his job, can a person write off gasoline that he spends to put in the car to go to work? as an expense there is a there are there is a case where that happens um those are called 2106 expenses now he cannot write the gas off between his home and his office but if he's using that car to get around to different sites oh for his work exactly oh okay Mm -hmm. but you can't use it to just go to work and write that off no because the mileage between the mileage between the home and the first site or the home in the office is considered commuter mileage. It's after that, in the process of doing his work. Okay, well, suppose you swing around and pick up a couple people. Carpool. To go to go to the site? Yeah, Let's but see, you what, whatever to go to you do house. after you get in to the car. first office, uh-huh. after then, and you swing around and pick them up, you can justify writing it off. Oh, so go to work first, then go get the people. Exactly. Man, hell, everybody going to be late. Mm-hmm. No. I'm... <laughs> Man, this ain't going to work. Better leave on right. time. <laughs> Y'all ain't going to have no damn job trying to save you this better little leave money on, on this time. gas. All right, we come back. We got more Miss Wilma Hayes. Uh, we got some questions from Marvin E. from Detroit. We got a child support question. That's oh. a good one coming up. You're listening to the Steve Harvey Morning Show. Back to tax talk with Miss Wilma. Oh yeah, back to tax talk. Thank I you. was in that song. I was on my knees begging. <laughs> so excuse me. <laughs> Wonder if you can get a refund for that, Miss Hayes. Yes, dear. Hey, I was talking to. I said that Marvin E. from Detroit had a question for you about child support. Uh-huh. He said, uh, "If I pay child support for my children, can I write off the child support and claim the earned income credit for them?" Hmm. Uh, no. Come on, Miss Hayes. You got to okay, give us well, something now. You ain't gave us I, I'm, nothing I'm today. I'm trying to give them. I'm trying. I'm really trying. Let me try it this way. Because pastor finna go to jail. Oh, <laughs> Lord. Yeah. He don't send some taxes in. <laughs> he really needs Jesus. Yes, he will. Uh, let's see here. He, um, Marvin cannot write off that child support. <sighs> child support is just not tax deductible. I don't, on, but ain't on, you taking care now, of the kids? He, he cannot do it on the federal side. But there are some states... And he needs to check with an H and R Block tax pro. There are some states that are allowing them to write off a percentage of the child support. Mm. Okay, but he cannot write it off on the federal side. But and can he do this? Can but he can still claim the children as dependents. No, they're not living. They, they appear oh, not geez. to be living with him. If, he, if he's paying Man. child support. Can a brother get a break? <laughs> can a brother get a break? Brother better do hey, right. Hey, Miss Hayes, I'm going to tell you something. Break. This don't sound good right now. <laughs> brother better do <laughs> Yeah, see. Might go back home. Man. It's cheaper to keep her. <laughs> <laughs> no, you did not go there. Miss Hayes. <laughs> <laughs> is she is she but a keeper? <laughs> right. Yeah, well. Oh Lord. Well, my, well, why we're going to cap it off there? That's been our each and all yeah. block segment. And remember this: you might not be able to save on taxes, but it's sure cheaper to keep them. <laughs> and the best thing I can tell you is, Clarence Carter, Clarence Carter, ooh, Clarence Carter, just stay at the house. It's Johnny, Taylor. Johnny Taylor. Johnny Taylor, <laughs> Steve, yeah. Clarence okay. Carter, Clarence Carter, Clarence Carter. Okay. Uh, Next question. Call this number. That's one the song eight. I was talking about, I'm Stroking. Yeah, you were. <laughs> that was the reference I was making to just stay at oh, the okay. house. Oh. Ooh, Clarence Carter, Clarence Carter. These are more sophisticated yeah, jokes, Miss was... Wilma. You shot yours out there. It was a big hit. Uh, let the professional try to go to the next level without... Uh, <laughs> 
<laughs> judging your jokes. It's cheaper to keep up. <laughs> Miss A's, all right. You can call. Well, we didn't save you no money in that segment right there. <laughs> you we can... found out the Mississippi pastor going to prison <laughs> and um, don't help kids, uh, don't help people pay their kids tuition because you ain't getting that money back. And child support is just child support. So go to hrblock.com, hrblock.com, or you can simply call 800 hrblock and uh, for all your tax questions. Thank you, Ms. Wilma. As welcome, always, dear. we appreciate you. You're listening to the Steve Harvey Morning Show. 